Hello everybody, welcome back. So today we are making such an exciting recipe and I am so excited because I literally just checked on them in the freezer and I thought they failed but they worked. So yay! <laughs> so today we are making rainbow ice cubes. So this might seem like a stupidly simple recipe but I haven't seen it anywhere and I thought it would be so cool if it worked and it worked and it's so cool and it's just like so simple but like the perfect addition to any kind of drink that is going to impress anybody. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. <laughs> So this is basically just dyed water that is layered in an ice cube tray, but I just like the visual impact is so cool. So yes, let's get started. <laughs> okay, so first we need to do some math. So you want to measure how much water fits into each ice cube in your ice cube tray. And so I use a rather large ice cube tray, so each ice cube required half a cup of water. So you want to divide that amount of water by six, and that's how much water you'll need for each color for each ice cube. So for mine, it was one and a third tablespoons per color. Then you want to dye six glasses of water the colors of the rainbow. So first you want to spoon the pink water into the tray. Then freeze until the water has completely frozen. Then continue with the other waters in the color of the rainbow, making sure each layer is completely frozen before adding the new layer. Okay, so the tricky part about these that made me worry that it wasn't going to work was that when I poured the orange layer on top of the pink layer, the pink layer floated up and I was like, oh my god, like it's not going to be nice and clean and everything's just going to like muddle together and it's going to be like this mess. But somehow that doesn't happen and so <laughs> what you want to do, so instead of doing the way I did it in the video, which is having the ice cube out of the freezer and then transferring it back and forth, what you want to do is keep it in the freezer and then like open the door and use like a tablespoon and pour the stuff on top. That way you don't necessarily risk kind of stretching the silicone mold because when you stretch it, it allows air in and then it'll allow it to like float up. But even if it does, because it still seemed to happen when I did that, it just magically worked. I think when you add more water and more colors, the weight weighs it down a bit more. So don't worry, just try to keep the tray as stationary as possible and it will turn out beautifully. <laughs> oh yay, I'm so happy, so like relieved is a better word. <laughs> then once the purple layer has fully frozen, just unmold the ice cubes and you are done. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this recipe. I think it's so pretty. If you guys try this out, oh my gosh, please send me photos. I would love to see all of your creations. And I love you guys so much. And next week it's all going to be watermelon themed. So make sure to stay tuned. I have watermelon, oh, should I tell you? I don't know, okay. Check the description box if you'd like a hint. And again, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and I will see you on Tuesday for a new recipe. Bye.